A judge has sentenced former British socialite Ghislaine Maxwell to 20 years in prison. A federal jury convicted Maxwell in December for helping her longtime associate Jeffrey Epstein recruit, groom, and sexually abuse teenage girls. Let's bring in CBS News national correspondent Jerika Duncan, who is outside the courthouse. Hi there, Jerika. So break down this sentencing for us. Was it what prosecutors were looking for? Prosecutors were looking for her to spend significant time behind bars. Uh, again, as you noted at the top of this, 20 years behind bars with five years of supervised uh, probation. Now, what was really interesting in all of this was hearing from Ghislaine Maxwell for the first time. She had words of empathy for the victims who gave their statements prior to her addressing the court. She said that knowing Jeffrey Epstein was the biggest regret of her life. She said that he was cunning and manipulative. She said she felt for the victims and hoped that this day would bring them a sense of peace, saying that uh, his impact and all of those close to him was devastating. She said Jeffrey Epstein should have stood here before you addressing the court in 2005 and again in 2009, she said, and in 2019. All those accused, charged, and prosecuted, referring to Jeffrey Epstein. But she said today is not about Epstein. It's about all the victims here to address me. She said, I am sorry for the pain that you've experienced. I hope that my incarceration brings you peace. She hopes that it allows them to look forward and not backward. She said that the relationships that she has lost, she cannot regain as a result of her connection uh, and friendship, really, to Jeffrey Epstein. And at the very end, she said, may this day help you travel from darkness into light. Uh, it was a stunning uh, remarks, if you will, from Ghislaine Maxwell, who, again, we have not really heard from, and it was unclear if she was going to address the court. But today she did, apologizing to the victims uh, and really saying that she hopes that this day brings them peace. The judge making note prior to the sentencing that this is not uh, an issue of Ghislaine Maxwell being a proxy for Jeffrey Epstein, she said, but this is someone who was part of a scheme and committed crimes. And, and Jerika, very interesting hearing from Ghislaine Maxwell herself, but can you tell us also a little bit more about some of the victim impact statements that were read in court today as well? They were very powerful, and when you think about the trial and some of the, the, the statements and the uh, testimony that we heard, it was more of the same, but really... Um, an opportunity for these victims to look at Ghislaine Maxwell, retell their stories, talk to the court about how devastating this has been for them. Um, one victim was uh, explaining that she had been hospitalized over a dozen times because of memories and things that she went through while she was with Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein. Um, some of these women talk about being raped and sexually assaulted, traveling with this couple. As it pertains to Ghislaine Maxwell, uh, one victim said, you know, she used her femininity to try and lure these women in, and they believed her, they trusted her, and as a result, uh, they were hurt. And many of them saying that they're still dealing with the repercussions today of what happened to them 20, 25 years ago. Very difficult testimony. Um, Jerika Duncan at a downtown uh, Manhattan courthouse, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it.